Charlevoix. On Friday, more evidence was released from the former Attorney General, clearly demonstrating that the Prime Minister conducted a campaign of political interference in the criminal prosecution of SNC-Lavalin. We still have a lot of questions, Mr. Speaker. In October, the Prime Minister's advisor, Mathieu Bouchard, said, quote, We can have the best policy in the world, but we need to get re-elected. What did he mean? The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, we know that Canadians have to learn the truth, and that's precisely why the Prime Minister waived cabinet confidence and solicitor-client privilege so that the witness could appear before the committee. For six weeks, there were meetings at which Canadians had the opportunity to hear for themselves. But what is clear is that the Conservatives made a decision before the Justice Committee decided to discuss this case, and they don't want to hear the truth. It's up to them, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It seems like we're hearing new and new truth coming every day, which would warrant the Justice Committee to investigate further. Liberals are saying that there is nothing new on this SNC scandal. But last week, we had heard substantial new evidence from the former Attorney General. And Gerald Butts has also tabled new evidence with the committee. Clearly, the Justice Committee's investigation was not complete. Canadians still want answers to questions like, what did the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff mean when she said she doesn't want to debate legalities anymore? Here, 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 here. Honourable Government House Leader. It's important that Canadians be able to hear from themselves, and that's exactly why, once again, the Prime Minister waived solicitor-client privilege as well as cabinet confidence. Mr. Speaker, this is an unprecedented action that took place because the Prime Minister recognizes that it's important for Canadians to be able to hear for themselves. These committee meetings took place in public and Canadians were able to hear. Members of the committee asked for additional documents to be submitted and those documents have now been submitted that once again confirms that the system is working and Canadians can have confidence in the system. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Member for Kamloops, Thompson Caribou. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister's staff said, quote, it's just a bit ironic that she wants an alternative justice process to be available in one sense, but not for SNC. It seems like this entire Liberal government has been seized with getting bribery charges dropped against SNC. And just a little reminder, that included $30,000 for Gaddafi's son for prostitutes in oh, yeah. Canada. So the finance... The Minister believes that this company should get a special deal. Simple question, will they let him come to Justice Committee and explain to Canadians why? Honourable Government House Leader. Speaker, we know that the Justice Committee studied this matter over five weeks, which is longer than most pieces of legislation is even studied at committee. We know that the conflict of interest and ethics commissioner is currently investigating this matter. We know that there's an ongoing court case. And we know that when it comes to deferred prosecution agreements, this is a new tool that went through the House of Commons, was voted on, and it is a legal measure that can be considered. What's interesting is that we hear this sanctimony coming from the other side, but where was that member of the Conservative Party when they voted? against uh, uh, measures for women and gender programs, when they voted against programs for seniors, when they voted against national... Order. Order. The Honourable Member for Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. Mr. Speaker, the Liberals continue to spin, 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 and the truth just keeps on putting them down. We heard more shocking evidence from the former Attorney General that affirmed her testimony that the Prime Minister desperately tried to discredit. The Liberals are saying there's nothing new on the SNC-Lavalin scandal, but Jerry Butts sent new evidence to the Justice Committee to attack the former Attorney General's mm. credibility yet again. There are plenty of unanswered questions, and Canadians deserve answers. Yep. So here's a simple one for the Prime Minister. When will the Prime Minister end the cover-up? The Honourable Government House Leader. Let's try this again, Mr. Speaker, and I'll try to keep it very simple. Members that sit on the Justice Committee, there are members from all parties that are recognized in the House that sit on the Justice Committee. They came together and they set parameters when it comes to the allegations that are currently being challenged or attacked by the opposition member. 
Then, justice committees were able to ask witnesses to appear. Witnesses appeared, and to ensure that Canadians could hear the truth, the Prime Minister waived solicitor-client privilege, as well as cabinet confidence, for the entire time for which the allegations were being challenged. Thank you. The Honourable